Sam. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna just run through it. Dude, you go through the gauntlet. It's been like that lately. You've been getting booked everywhere I've seen you right now, DC. It's infuriating. It's been pissing me the fuck off. It's like this. It's bag or die. Thank you so much, Blind Mike. Guys, welcome to Dope Up Podcast, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Woo! Guys, if this is your first time watching, guys, thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the show. This is a, a, a show, the, this is a drug culture podcast where we ask comedians in New York about their drug cul- experience with drug culture mm-hmm. and stories about it. So, guys, I want to go around the table. Let's go really easy. To my left is one of my best friends, one of my homies, Kevin Sanchez. Also, where's my soundboard? I just realized I got no... <laughs> Hello. I got no, I know, I got no bing bongs. <laughs> This guy's fucking Rick without his fucking shit to make experiments. Don't, no, you can't, you can't compare anyone to Rick anymore. <laughs> the cartoon DC, character. Not... That's not okay. That's not okay at all. The cartoon character never raped anybody, right? He like I actually he like they, made they, bitches and fucked them. I mean, there's enough Ricks that technically someone, one of them had to be yeah. a rapist, right? <laughs> That's in good. the in the in the multiverse of rape, <laughs> yeah. one of them is a serial That's a rapist, fact, though. and one of them did try to fuck Morty. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, really? I saw the episode. Uh, that's a fact. If there's a hundred of you, one of you is definitely fucking a kid or doing the horrible shit. That that's a pretty do. generous number, to be honest. Yeah, a hundred yeah, is a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. billions of ricks. One of you got to be a murderer. Damn, if there was a hundred of me, fuck. Can you? I'm gonna redo the intro. Can you edit yeah, this? Yeah, you want to do that? I was God gonna say, you want to just start over? Uh, yes. Let's, you don't. You don't do the intro over. You can, I'm just gonna start the show. I'm just gonna start the intro over. I'll just, I'll just shout out Kevin. Yeah, that, Yo, was funny, that was a funny riff we had. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, keep it in. Keep yeah, it keep in. It keep it, it in. Give people, yeah, you know give what, people what they want. Guys, that's... Oh, oh, fuck. God, so sorry, Kevin. Sorry. Wait. Kevin Sanchez, everybody. Wild boy Kevin Sanchez. Wild boy Kevin Sanchez. I, I do not condone anything he's going to say. On the other side of the table is my other best friend, my other partner in this thing. That is D.C. Williams. That's Thank you, guys. Magic, I love you, guys. I feel like... <laughs> the, other day, the other day around work, bro, I saw this also guy punching the air. I was like, he must have listened to that DC shit. Oh, uh, he must have listened to DC shit. <laughs> he, must have, he must be listening to DC shit. You said a picture to Napoleon? Bro, I wish I caught it, but I knew that white guy would have ran at me. <laughs> and also, let, let, let's spare no expense. Let's spare no time wasted. The uh, guest for this evening, their man himself. You know him from Zach and Miko's Midnight Spoo Show. You know him from Bye Guys. And you might have seen his naked roast, which is the best fucking thing in the world at Skate Fest. It's the man himself. The movie list is unlimited. The IMDb is stacked. It's the man himself, Zach Amico. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Drop a fucking bomb. Nice. Right. I knew you would like that. Well, Hell I, yeah. I thought, that's, that's, that's always the guest drop. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fucking Adrian from Paris. That's what, that's what I opened up the very first doped up uh, comedy club show, and that's how we're going to open up at the stand. It's my favorite. That's a sick song. It's my favorite song, dude. Remember, I think you played. Uh, I still don't know that song. You played. It's uh, from the beginning of Wild Boys. Yeah, dude. Mm. It's a Wild Boys theme song. No I'm one ever sure knows. You're the first one that I ever played it for, and it was like, oh, that's Wild Boys theme song. Well, Zach. Zach He's different. One of these guys that if you throw anything at him, he has seven references to it. Mm. It's fucking incredible, bro. I like a, like, with a lot of references. Two, Re- the two reference kings, Big him J, and, Zach, and Miko. Yeah. It, it is no, uh, you guys know, it's an unlimited arsenal of knowledge. Yeah, of, it's an encyclopedic knowledge of useless horseshit. <laughs> 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 when did you, how old were you when you just started? Just consuming every content. Like, when you find- I've been consuming stuff for a long, long time, buddy. <laughs> Did you, you find like scary movies at like what age three? No, I was probably like uh, I've been a nerd about shit since I'm. Pro- I it was the first thing was Weird Al. Tell me about your oozes, please. Oozes, what's Yankee, up? Okay. Fire. Yeah, but I mean, Weird Al was the first big thing. Really interesting. Uh, I guess before that was Wolverine. Like Fire. the X Men, yeah. Fire. When so I was a comic kid, books. yeah. When I was a little kid, it was Wolverine, and then I found Weird Al. Wait, real quick, did you think Wolverine's name was X Men when you were a kid too? No, no, no. He was Wolverine. Fuck. Dude. Why would you? He he thought I thought that, X-Men? bro. Every kid that grew up was like, there was like, yeah, X Men is fucking Wolverine. Dog. That's you. That's you. I'll hold that. Well, I grew up with the X Men. I grew up. That was on TV when I was a kid. Cartoons. That's the one. When did the original Batman come out? Like the good one, the animated series. By the eighties. After that. After that? Batman the Animated Series, I was a little older for. Really? Mm. Yeah, because that's when they, that's what Harley Quinn is from. Do you know, like, I, I mean, I, I'm sure you remember, like, Hulu back in the day when it first started. That's what put me on to so many old cartoons. 
They had everything, bro. They like I watched like Mr. Popper's. Uh, not Mr. What's the show that was that like, Mr. like a Popper's? Gay <laughs> no, no, Mr. Popper's. Mr. Popper's. I, I used to watch a lot of Mr. Mr. Popper's. Kitchen, dog. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Popper. That was I always said Mr. Popper's Dylan. Penguins, but it was like um, Dylan. Mr. All Puffin, Puffin stuff. stuff. Okay, HR Puffin stuff. <laughs> HR Puffin stuff. I used to just watch all the old shit, bro. Yeah, the Sid and Marty Croft stuff. Yeah, dude, it was a lot of fun. Who the fuck is Marty? I never knew what it was though. Sid and Marty Croft were two old Jews that made kids' TV shows that were secretly psychedelic. Mm-hmm. Uh, so HR puffin stuff. It's a yo, dude, yeah, yeah, okay, it's a like, trippy okay, show. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's all trip. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you ever watch um, Mr. Show with Bob and David? Fuck, dude. Man. It was Bob Odenkirk and David Cross had a sketch show. Mm-hmm. What is it called? Mr. Show. Mr. Mr. Show. Can you pull this up? Let's and the, the cast is basically all famous now. When My you mom up, loved Sigmund and the Sea Monsters back in the day. That was that also familiar. Okay. But uh, they had a thing called Mr. Show with Bob and David. Uh-huh. It was a sketch show. Everybody on it's famous now, but they did a they did a parody of it called the Altered State of Drugachusetts, and it's just a parody of how like at a certain point kids TV was just drug reference. One hundred percent. I didn't realize that's all I was older. I though. didn't know that. Yeah. Show recently, dude. The cast on Mister Show is fucking bananas. When you look at the people they cast, who were like no name L.A. comics, everyone. I'm mm-hmm. um, hilarious though. I bet. Paul F. Tompkins, Brian Posehn, Jack Black. No way. Uh, Tom Kenny, who's SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to tell me that. Wow. Uh, you don't have to tell me that. <laughs> uh, but, 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 just bring it up real quick. Do you have the IMDb by chance, Natalie? Uh, Pat and... Mr. Show? Yeah, Mr. yeah. Mr. Show, yeah. yeah. Pat Oswald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the amount of people are on it are fucking bananas. It's everyone was on it. Was created by great. a stand-up comedian? It's Mr. Bob Odenkirk and David Cross. Oh, shit. I don't know. David Cross did his own cartoon? No, no, it was a sketch show. Oh, sketch show, sketch show, sketch show. Yeah, Brian was saying Paul F. Tompkins. That's John a hot Adams, lineup. Tom Kenny, Scott Ackerman from Comedy Bang Bang, uh, Jack Black, Sarah Silverman. Is that Janine? Jerry Montaner, Janine Garofalo, Scott Adson from 30 Rock. Sarah uh, Silverman? Because wow. they all wrote on the Ben Stiller show, this is which a- was on MTV. Wow, and then show? they moved to HBO to do this show. And I'm not trying to be t- like, Marlon controversial. Marlon Wayans as KKK member? That- yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. They did a thing called the New KKK. Uh <laughs> Oh, they also they, they did a thing called the New KKK. That you was pulled all one of those like, sketches, Natalie. Really what? That was all like a. Uh, it was an award show for people trying to f- uh, save people's brands, like <laughs> like reinvent them. Mm. Oh, that's all. And one was Nambla. We're not murderers. <laughs> we just Nambla is the <laughs> National Association of Man Boy Love. Whoa, <laughs> what? And they, is that real? the commercial was <laughs> Nambla. <laughs> we're not. Mur- we don't murder them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And then they did the new KKK. The new KKK. I want to see that shit. That's yeah. I'm starting. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. This isn't oh, this the is... new KKK. It's this just another this, one. This is just him, though. Okay, I'll look up That's Dino yeah, Stamatopoulos. Yeah, KKK. He was Starburns on um, Community, and he's oh, written on a t- yeah. He did Moral Oral. I, oh, Yes. No way. I don't know what that yeah, is. he wrote on that too. See, I know a lot of these things. It's crazy how Zach knows. Now, this guy's like, a pop people, culture like, buff. That's buff. what I've always respected. And, like, I love talking to you about Like, You know every fucking link of like how these people went to go write on this show, went to go write on this show. Like, Is this it? Is it a clip of it? Oh, this is awesome. It's only 30 seconds that they have on YouTube. Oh, my God. Dude, this Marlon is only, has been this a the only 30 seconds allowed. Bro. You know, Marlon Wayne's is supposed to be Batman. I mean, Robin and Batman. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He went. He went to the audition just like this. <laughs> this doesn't look like Marlon Wayans at all. That's, that's not, not Marlon. Marlon that's not Marlon. Okay. <laughs> this is the new KKK. Well, you know what's crazy is Dale Call. Like, that's not far off to where where we are now, right? Because they'll call certain black people who are like right wing, like yeah. uh, like new KKK, uh, like something like <laughs> new KKK. They'll go like, oh, you're you're a far right guy now. You know, they'll... outrageous comedy like this hard exists every now and then, like with people that are like doing. My it biggest thing is how many shows that are out now, like the entire cast ends up being like these finds of like what, like when you you say you Not go back, like, there's some cast of like, of like multiple shows, like animation, like animated shows, sketch shows that are like a ridiculous cast of characters. Like, yeah. I feel like a lot. Like I watched that '90s show the other day. 
I was like, I don't think any of these kids are ever going to be on anything else. As soon as they got past introducing the people we knew, Red and those mm-hmm. wives, you were done? I was done. Have you seen it? Oh, yeah, I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole thing what? also. Fuck I love you. all the fan service. The second uh, Eric Foreman yells, uh, I'm going a, to I'm a, I'm a, um, shove up my, my foot in your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, damn, I had a pause. I, I, was, I was screaming. I had yeah. a didn't pause want to fan out. And then when Kelso went, out. damn, Jackie, I was like, I'm back in. Yeah. yeah. I liked Kelso. I'm going to be real. I wanted to hate it for some reason. And then I'm Hate it naturally in. sometimes. See, here's the thing. Oh, the first it. season of a lot of shows sucks. suck. Yes. First Reboots, season though. of 30 yes. Rock sucks. First season of Seinfeld is slow as fuck. Yes. Yes. Shows need air. Yeah. But how do you feel that same about reboots though? You give them the same chance? Um, it's still a show. It's it a new depends. show. But, a, I mean, it's a lot of new people. Yeah. Listen, for a first season of a show of like a remake or like a redo, mm-hmm. solid first season. It was fine. And now, and now, watchable. Now I have to ask you, have you watched Velma? I tried. Does Zach Amico it was fine. watch Velma? It was trash, It was fine. Bro. I mean, it's not for us, dude. It's not. Who is it for, Zach? It's not. I think it's it, not for anyone, Zach. That's not true. I think it's, for, not, it's, no, for, it's, for, it's for high school kids. Mm-hmm. It's for high school kids. It's because there's a Scooby Doo every how many years, right? They Eight, redo it. Ten, yeah. It's for kids, dude. It's not for us. I don't know. It's R rated. I'm not. I'm not at that it's place. Like an, of PC. It's an yeah, but so is that uh, Harley Quinn thing, and I felt like too old for that. I actually haven't watched that yet. I, I I, I'm scared it, it was not going to be good. That's I wasn't nuts about it. I keep seeing clips on like YouTube Reels, like YouTube Shorts of things from that show, and I still never watch it. Like Joker's mad at Batman for like. Like yeah, like uh, um, investing like tax reasons. It's a very on the nose show. Like they always want to like talk to the viewers. You guys got to watch One Punch Man, bro. There's new cartoons out. And they're <laughs> one Punch Man is so fire. Um, there's you just another, got on one, one Punch Man or like a year and a half ago, my older brother put me on, and then there's another one where this guy's like Superman but on steroids. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? He's he has oh. a cape and. He he has a chisel. Not, that's one. That's one punch. No, man. it's not one punch. It's another one. He has a son, but his son doesn't want to like. Do what he's know. supposed to do with his powers and shit. You guys know what I'm talking about? I do not. I'm not familiar. I apologize. Fuck. What did you think of Velma? How far did you get into it? I mean, I watched one and I was like, I'm not going to watch that again. <laughs> I had a, a video. That a lot of people have comments on it. And someone got mad at me for saying that she's Indian. And they're like, how do you know that she's uh, Indian and not black? I was like, well, the animators took the time to animate arm hair on her. Like, <laughs> obviously, she's Indian. The yeah, funny yeah. thing is, if you said the reverse, I want some, someone still would have had a problem. How do you know she's black? They would have like, she's oh, yeah. Latin or Indian or something. Also, shit. And, and people got mad at me because I shouted out the only thing I liked on the first episode was that Velma, that Velma scene where she's like naked in the showers. Mm-hmm. There are thousands, of, uh, hundreds of comments that are like, Dude, they're like fourteen and fifteen in that scene. I was gonna. They're cartoons so, on an R-rated show. I'm glad you said I wanted, that. I actually agree. So that was a parody of Carrie and all other movies where it's a high school, and the girls are all in the shower. It was making fun of that it's trope. satire. It was yeah, making fun of that it's trope. Satire. I didn't. Know, I'm just trying to figure. I'm like, why? When the show so, so bad, the yeah. satire goes. Well, no, that's your head. the opening of Carrie is all the are girls naked me? in the locker room, and they're supposed to be in high school. I, 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 I gotta I follow up. Okay, because I'm Zach, like, why are they showing the uh, Actually, I really movie. wanted to fuck with you the other day. Please. So when I came in here a few weeks ago to make fun of your uh, reels, yes. about the guy in Elf, yes, that guy is in. Uh, you people, the new Jonah Hill, Crazy. Eddie Murphy no movie, and I really wanted to make the exact same video. Be like, yo, who is this guy <laughs> showing up? Is he a comedian or something? Like and subscribe. I wanted to do the. Exact I'm posting same that video. right now with the response video. Yo, guys, <laughs> wait, did you you saw you people? I heard it was yeah, okay. That's fine. It was. Um, this is gonna sound biased. Nope. I agree with you. I am. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. That's I fucking DC, you. dude. <laughs> There's two things I'm done with in the meet in movies and TV. Andrew Schultz. No, no, I like Andrew. Yes, he's coming to dinner. <laughs> but in a way, yes. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, and and please forgive me if I'm speaking wait, wait, out I of pocket. You people take from Zachamika. I am done with any movie or TV show about a guy with a podcast. Ooh. There's been a lot of TV shows like that. Everybody has a fucking pod. Like it's a, such a trope for everybody has a like podcast. Bros? Yeah, bros, they have a fucking podcast. Uh, all of Kevin Smith's movies, everybody has a fucking podcast Yo, that, now. That's true for sure. Really? So I'm done with podcasts, and this one, and I'm sorry, I'm done. 
podcast with, with Jewish guys oh. <laughs> who <laughs> are obsessed with black, black culture. Yes. Black We've culture? got, yeah. I got Why it. Do you assume I'm obsessed with black culture? Uh, no, no. I'm oh, saying saying Jonah Hill in it is oh, like, sorry, sorry. There's I, got, I, got I got defensive. I got defensive. Where like he's at Temple and takes out the fucking handkerchief to wipe his sneaker. No. Yeah. Shit like that. We're like, yo, oh. Oh, it's like mean on the nose. He's a. <laughs> <yeah>. uh, <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, he's a white guy who loves black stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tim well, Allen noise. You, the, the thing that got to me was like the fucking. It's guess who's coming to dinner? The modern version, like the millennial well, version type of shit. I have no issue with that because that's remember we were just saying they do Scooby Doo every few years, right? That is a movie that we've but, seen how many hundreds. But, whether Bernie Mac did mm-hmm. it, I think Cedric did it. Yeah, we're always gonna see the culture clash. But you're, you're not tired of like that. When I was watching, it, I was like, okay, this is cool. Jonah Hill's there. I like Jonah Hill. I like everybody in it. But it was the constant like. Listen, I know you're black, but I love your daughter. Or this is, or Can like, you find yeah. the scene no, where to, Eddie Murphy's kinda... trying to get Jonah Hill to say the N word. Yeah. This is the clip I saw. The ending was was, it... was rushed and silly. It was a little too like heavy hand. It was ham fisted. Yeah, and I, wait, I was, what? And ham- I was, wait, what? Wait, 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 what? It was too. It was almost like it was written by AI at parts. Yeah, That's so yeah, funny. yeah. Where Dude, like yeah. the speech the black girl gives to Julia Louis Dreyfus. It seemed like somebody Would wrote it now let's in a the... writer's room. It seemed right. like somebody wrote it in a classroom. And mm. it was just... That, I'm, yes. Is it this one? Yes, dude. Yes, yes, it fucking is. Okay. So DC, no, DC, just, I want oh, you to watch sorry. this. I want you to I see how it. you... I watched, I watched this whole movie with a white girl. You did? Yes. You should maybe talk over it before, so we yeah, don't yeah, get yeah. flagged. So, you, you, this is... So, how are you gonna support so they listen to In Paris, and he keeps asking him the name of the song. Yes. So, say say the name, though. Say the name. Niggas in Paris. So, basically... You can turn it off. Thank you. I just want to show people that. What I was like, there's there's two things for me in that. Like, as a... Like, watching it, I I was like, okay, there's going to be some funny shit in here, and I thought as soon as Eddie Murphy walked on the scene, he said funny shit, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, that was great." When he's like, "Oh, like I, I go everywhere these days," and I'm like, "How am I the blackest nigga in here?" Yeah. Like that type of shit was funny. And then there are parts yeah. where there's the the white guilt was weird. I'm tired of and white then, guilt. And then bro. like the the constant like I, I know you're black, I know you're Jewish, and I'm Muslim, and this will probably never work, but we're trying to make it work so much. And then like it was just like cringe. Like it was just like all you guys are like good people, I guess, but you don't have to like. It just felt like trying too hard on the nose, yeah. and then. For me, I'm just like, how surprised are... I know racism still exists. I'm not ignorant. But how surprised are white moms if their son shows up with someone that's not white? It's trying trying too hard. It was all intelligent people right? acting ignorant of a very obvious situation. Right. Like his mom just couldn't get it together. My my curiosity is... Which white girl was this that you were watching this with? It was a white girl. <laughs> she was. A, she was hey, chill, chill, chill. We've been seeing her, but I like. She was like, "You want to watch you people?" I was like, yeah, "Actually, do you know what's crazy it? about the movie? Know, know, how, know how she felt about the movie?" <laughs> she <learned. laughs> Bro, I don't know. After after like we watched it, I was kind of like, "That was kind of a random movie for him to do." Like it, it, it was, was a random movie. Ready? Like, no, 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 Jonah Hill. Jonah, Jonah Hill. Yeah, to yeah, make Jonah and produce. No, I was you like, see, that you was... see the movie? You're like, this is. I'm pretty sure if you back up enough money to Jonah Hill's house, he's gonna do it. You remember they had those Sony <laughs> leaks a couple years ago? Yeah. And all the emails from Sony got leaked, and there were emails from Jonah Hill talking to producers. Yeah. And they were pitching crossing over Men in Black with Twenty One Jump Street, uh-huh. and they wanted to turn it into like a crossover movie. Yeah. Like a, exactly. And his email, and I'm sure he's a cool guy, yeah. was so Hollywood douchey. Can you try to find this email? It was something it. like, that sounds like powerful vibes. No. <laughs> it was so like, yes, I will take your money. God, Who's this no copywriter, me? It was, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, Tony Hill's a talented actor. Yeah. Talented guy. By the way, he's in Wolf of Wall Street. Great. If you're in Wolf of Wall Street, you're a good actor. You're an no, he did actor. some good <laughs> acting. If you have lines in Wolf of Wall Street, because I know a bunch of sluts that say they were in Wolf of Wall really? Street. Really? Like, <laughs> no, I was a featured actor in Wolf of Wall Street. Come yeah. On. Oh, really? You rode somebody's cock on the plane ride? Yeah, yeah. It's fucking three seconds long. Don't say featured. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. All right. So, and, then, and then you do comedy competitions in New Jersey, lady I'm not naming. Go ahead. Do, <laughs> <laughs> do the research, fans. No. That's really obvious. All right, let's, 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 let's talk about a great movie. I saw an amazing movie, yeah. Puss in Boots. Did you see that? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen Puss in Boots yet? This has been no. talking to me about Puss in Boots. By the way, Andrew Schultz came on the screen. I was like, oh, best part of the movie. Puss in Boots is also Natalie's nickname. That's hey. funny. Jorge hey. loves Puss in Boots, I was going to say. <laughs> he constantly no, fucking no one, talk never, about this movie. I like a you didn't watch it yet? No, bro. All right, fine. I've never seen it. Uh, animated cartoons for me is like Nemo. Um, it fucking, wasn't worth it. 
Buzz Lightyear <laughs> shit. Do you need to have seen the other Puss in Boots to it, enjoy it? No, it's it, they're starting a new franchise. They're going Marvel with it. You can literally tell they're starting like their own like like uh, they, more they, like they, um, Minions and yes, Despicable Me yes, kind of they, thing. They, 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 the movie ends with them clearly going back to like the Shrek universe, and you're like, bro, oh God, give dude. me all of this. It's Yo, a good movie. A, it's a great I movie. just want so one off. Uh, I, I just want. Why are you so scared to find a new audience? Hollywood, oh. like yeah, yeah, everything yeah, yeah, yeah. is reboots. Every whatever's a built-in audience, let's keep making it. It's fucking. I just, I just I want a one-off, dog. One good movie, let yeah. it go. One good movie, let it go. Like I said, oh. Why you gotta make a Matrix Five? <laughs> I will oh. say, Shrek holds up hard. Shrek does it? Yes, it does. No, you know Shrek what's wild? Dude, there's a Shrek rave at um, Webster Hall coming up, <laughs> no. and I legitimately want to. Go- go- we're going. You gotta go. Shrek is fire. Uh, exactly. I know exactly I'm an old man because it was like doors at one a.m. Okay, and I'm like, well, well, uh, wait, you don't wait. Want to go to that. It was, I, was so close, I was so close to wanting to go that I looked up uh, Shrek body makeup and I was going to show up green. <laughs> Would you do the little thing? Yeah, little... I was going to do the little ears. Wait, wait, and show you up. Done, I'm Fucking sorry to say, have you not done Shrek yet? No, I want to. Please do Shrek this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please I, do Shrek. What's wild? I've never wait, what seen, is it? I've never seen one Shrek. Oh, there it is. She found the a email. Late, I think but... that's clean and rad and powerful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it literally sounds that's, like wait, you need texting, dude. Can I see it one more time now? Sorry, it is. Yeah, that's an email from Jonah Hill about crossing over. You're right. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But holy really nice Holy shit, this email. <laughs> Speaking of uh, California, not only how bad of a movie does it sound. Speaking it says Tommy Lee Jones and yeah. Will Smith would not be reprising their roles. <laughs> and, and they, said they said we're not so, inviting the two best parts of this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tommy so, Lee did it already said no. Uh, yeah. Speaking yeah, yeah. of, so it would have been Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum, and the Pug. Hey, Will, <laughs> and the pug. Will, Will will do it now. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah, do it real quick. Do it. Real oh, will fast. do it. Say anything. Yeah, 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 yeah say yeah. anything. And convince Tommy Lee to do it. So let, let, let's let's transition here. Speaking of California, um, a, a man Zach Amico went there for a little trip. To, I want to talk about. It just came out. The Burt Kreischer Only Fans roast. Can you talk about it? You want to give us some? Uh, yeah, I wrote. Uh, we did uh, two roasts for uh, Only Fans. You did both of them, right? Yeah, we, I wrote on both. It's uh, so we did first one one's for, Whitney coming. For, one for Whitney and one for Burt. The Burt one's gonna come out first on uh, April Fool's Day. That's a really fucking fun, dude. Zach is one of the best roasters in he's, the his, in, in the history. I mean. <laughs> I saw the roast of Louis J. How, Gomez. I'm telling you, roast shows you've said, and I'm, every time I think of one, I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it just let people. Because of their math. Because hmm? of the math. They're math. No, I'm, that's how I yes. explain roast jokes. Uh, people. Okay, they're wait. math. They're equations. Yeah. Explain that. This is to this is that is to that. It's like an SAT question. Mm. Interesting. And that's why great roast jokes are written backwards. What do you start when you write a roast joke? You come up with the punchline first, and then you go backwards and set it up. That's you do that for every single one? Or else back. you're sitting there going, what's funny? Yeah. You go, what's funny about this person, and then you write it backwards. Can I tell you something? That's, Pro tip. That is the only way I write. Yeah. Like, I have to find the hook and then write around it, uh-huh. or else I can't make a joke. And even for like people do, I was talking to uh, Tim McLaughlin yesterday, because he's about to spit roast. And uh, then I was talking to Saw Goodwin. Saw spit roast last night. It, Lou is, I mean, the idea is on that yeah. fucking guy. I, it is, it's, it, I don't want to say... In, not infuriating, but I, I saw the show. I had to see it in person. And I saw Lewis after. I was like, it's a fucking great idea, yeah. Lewis. God damn it. That's a word well. you got from Lewis, by the way. What? Infuriating. It's a, yeah. it's a word what, that we both he invented use constantly. It? No, it I just... Like I use word. it too, and I'm pissed about it. I got it from one of you. Uh, Maybe and I was talking to Robbie Goodwin the night after, and he's like, I want to do it. I was like, best advice, don't think of those as roast jokes. Those are monologue jokes. For sure, mm. you know, it, it is. It is weird seeing who does well on that show and who doesn't, because it is a different. Because it's not about roast humiliating. Show. Yeah, or it's not about talking shit. It's, it's about what's the topic. funniest thing. Yeah. yeah, that has to do with this. You help. You help on that show or not yet? I just did. I I battled Aaron. Oh yeah, on the first one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I main evented against Aaron Berg on the first Fine. one. On of Spit course, Rose, of course. You think they could do like a segment where it's like uh, the best Me Too story? What do you mean? Like, I've been reading Me Too stories, and I read the uh, one, uh, the best one I've seen so far was some Aerosmith, the, the lead singer Aerosmith. Yeah, he adopted that where trick. He's, no, no, wait, I don't even know that oh, part. Yeah. Wait, he what? snitched. He snitched on himself. Oh, yeah, you talk about it in yeah. his book. Dude, and it is, they all do that. Though. He the made an I did it. <laughs> yes, he kind of did. He wrote an I did it. So did back it. in the day, Rockstar used to fuck, used to fuck teenagers. Yeah, sure. And Still it wasn't. Do. Necessarily, it's frowned upon. Sure, one hundred percent. Now, I do think we're living in a different time where kids stay kids longer. That's Did all I'll say. That's a, that's a great. Kids that's stay a, kids longer. That's if a fifteen-year-old girl was at a fucking 
I was at a nightclub in LA going to a rock show now. You know. You would, you would fucking go, know. You yeah. would go, why the fuck is she here? Yeah. But in mm. the 70s, that's who the fuck was there. Right. It's a little different. You grew up a lot faster. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah. You were married at like 18, 20. And yeah, you like had a house that. and kids when you were 23. Yeah. 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 It's I, a little different. Yes. 100%. Regardless. Super weird. What happened Back in them? the day, it was frowned, it's not as frowned upon, but these guys would go on tour and you can't transport minors across state lines. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. For... Certain purposes. I remember. <laughs> so certain rock stars, uh, the guy from Aerosmith, Ted Nugent, they would adopt their girlfriends. Oh, my God. They would get in the room with Legally. the parents and I... sign the paperwork. Yeah. And they would be their legal guardian. That way, if the bus got pulled over. Yeah. And they go, hey. Uh, Daddy. Who's yeah. who's she with the coloring book? Uh, <laughs> they, would go, they would go, that's my daughter. Yeah. That's insane. Imagine if that happens and you got to fucking take your dick out of your daughter's mouth because yeah, yeah. someone's fucking yeah, like, let me on. talk to you for a second. Hold on, I got to talk to the cops <laughs> yeah. real quick. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. Take yeah. my- Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Dope Dub Podcast. If you want to go support Dope Dub Podcast, go support our sponsor, Zia Farms. Zia Farms does everything for us around here, sponsors everything that we do. So guys, go support them. That's zef-hemp.com. Go to zef-hemp.com and go support Zia Farms and use the code doped hyphen up. That's D-O-P-E-D hyphen U-P. And you'll get like, I think it's like 50 or 80% off. It's a ridiculous fucking discount. So guys, go support see your farms and doped up and get high with all of us let's get back to the show all right so wait, let's get into plugs and i want to get into the questions of the show now you get the music awesome guys and also we have a we have a big announcement kev mm-hmm. kev you know what the announcement is nah yeah it's, it's gonna be news to me nah, no um, you know the yeah, announcement <laughs> guys we're so excited to announce <laughs> doped up comedy show is back and better than ever what do you need what do oh, you the bag off the table oh. sorry so it's just it was in the show a little bit guys Dope Dope Comedy Show is back and better than ever. We are officially at the stand. March fucking Let's 5th. Go. March 5th, Sunday. Let's I'm not going to double music. Natalie, hey, wait, can I, I indulge myself real quick? Absolutely. Yeah. You guys bought the stand? <laughs> <laughs> Stop Reddit. <laughs> Dude, my fucking dad bought it. <laughs> Who had your back, motherfucker? Dude, you're the fucking best. So, uh, we, we'll, we'll talk about the Twitter oh, beef oh. in a little bit, but... Oh, Who had your back? You're the best. You Zach, fucking Zach, did. Zach, Zach, your tweet... Be the, glad I was bored that day. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're, you're so able to put every all the words in like two sentences. You can say everything in a sentence and it's, it's, it's a superpower. I, just, I, I, a had, a, super I had to call out like, people. Go to my Twitter if you want to know what he's crazy. talking about. When you see something that's stupid. So like, yeah, it was, it was the dumbest shit in the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, tr- by the way, got mad at me because I called him a pussy. said I was attacking him and then tried to dox me. Didn't even post my parents. Want to know how I know comics in New York are climbers? You know how many DMs in comics? Like, oh, yo, bro, fucking who cares who your parents are? Yeah. I was like, yo, it's on my parents. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the text, Matt Miller. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. But guys, please, Doped Up Comedy Show, March 5th, Sunday. It's the, it's the, it's the Sunday show. <laughs> it's going to be the best fucking show ever, guys. And uh, uh, we just announced today, just confirmed, we have an amazing lineup. Napoleon Emile, yes, sir. Hannah Rasha Rafa Rafa yes, she was just on the show, so I can't say Hannah Rowe. Hannah Rowe. And then Maddie Smith. And then just Shout announced to today, Maddie. Big J Okerson. Oh, Woo! Big J's on it? Big J Okerson. Oh, shit. You know who else is on there? Kevin Sanchez. You know who else is on there? DC Williams. Ah, nah. And who's on the next one? Zach <laughs> fucking Amigo. Let's Zach, please get it. Next one. Happy I would love to, dude. This is the, the, the evolution of the show with these fucking guys has been my be- first best friend in New York. This has been an amazing fucking journey, guys. Thank you so much. Go follow me at Dylan J. Negri. And if you're one of the new subscribers that saw my Velma video and you're watching this, uh, go support fucking Zach. Support all these dudes. But stay tuned. This is the podcast of the future. Thank you so yeah. much. Zach. Uh, Zach. Uh, if you are in uh, Saratoga Springs, New York, I will be headlining all weekend for temp- uh, February the 17th yes, sir. and 18th. One show Friday, two shows Saturday. They did put an adult content warning on the website, which <laughs> I'm very proud of. <laughs> and then other than that, please check out my podcast, uh, The Real Ass Podcast, Zach Amigo's Midnight Spook Show, and Bye Guys with Ian Fidance. And uh, thank you. Appreciate Watching it. Watching Bye Guys go from a segment <laughs> into one of the best podcasts. It's been an evolution that the you, psychological torture of Ian Fidance that is the <laughs> backbone of that show, wanna, which is me slowly breaking Ian. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> speaking of bye guys, do, you have to have him on. Yeah, well, I love you. Have to have Kev on, dude. He's the bias of guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> we'll have you on. Buddy. He's 22 percent gay. I don't know if you know this. I found out yesterday his gay brother one time stuck his finger in a man's ass and went up behind Kevin and went, 
Yeah, dude. Yeah. It was, and it was, uh, yeah, at the I bar. haven't sniffed I it. I see why you're a wild dude, bro. <laughs> He's a wild <laughs> boy. It makes so much sense, bro. Wow. All right, and then DC Williams. Um, Follow me on Instagram Speaking at DC Williams guys. Comedy. Um, uh, Doped Up Comedy, like they just said, at fucking The Stand, March 5th. I'll be at Eastville Comedy Club on Sunday. I forgot the time because I'm a piece of shit. I apologize, but um, okay. yeah. Like, follow, subscribe, guys. I, I I love you guys. Thank you guys for listening. Kevin Sanchez. Wild Kevin Sanchez on Earth Tank. Uh, I got shows coming up. Just follow the Instagram. Woo! I like my little my little fucking. Oh, it's thing great. Just came up Did mine come up there. too? I missed and, it. Uh, March fifth, baby. You didn't say you're be, at. March fifth is gonna be a party. Oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be wild. It's gonna, it's gonna be a, a wild time. It's, a, it's gonna be a really fun night. I'm gonna I, have some sluts come through and <laughs> twerk on stage. <laughs> I'm gonna have. Can't call your girlfriend, bro. She's definitely huh? gonna be there. Can't call your girlfriend that. Hey, yo, bro. I hey, call yo. my girlfriend whatever <laughs> I want. Okay. <laughs> all right guys seriously and also if you want to go to the um the, we, we have another show we're bringing more shows back a weekly show um march uh uh march 16th we're back we're in the lower east side as well we're gonna be at uh stay tuned Just stay tuned we're a lot of information coming open mics all that stuff good dub comedy well, let's get back into the show yes yeah, sir sure. can i just say something real quick Absolutely. the first time i remember something. when you were at um doped up and it was like a while I, when, like, you the know, first like, time i bought that bar yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the first, first time, time I bought, bought the, the bar, bar yeah. and yeah, yeah, you you overcharged Dylan to perform and all that stuff because <laughs> uh, he's a rich piece of shit. No, um, but like you know, you do comedy for a while. It's just like another show after you follow people. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It was that time I was like, he was like, you're going after Zach and Miko. I was like. I you know I didn't know it was like he, he, he has bro. a fan base and he's funny you know what I mean I, I, and listen, I was like this is the this most is... confident assholes I've ever met <laughs> they're just like me I was literally like when oh, you went fuck, up and I was bro. like I know exactly who to put because he doesn't give a fuck about race no he'll go up there and be as funny as possible I was like Zach DC perfect he goes who am I who am I after I go, Zach you oh Zach okay. Okay, rub exactly. my face a Bro. little bit. <laughs> Start rubbing your face a little bit. Like, no, but okay. that's a good thing yeah. because we're not going to cross kill... over into each other's shit either. at all. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It was perfect because it was Karen, me, then you. It was none a... of us would do the same yeah. shit. It so is that's but perfect. You fucking killed, and I was like, "Damn, is my material stale?" Like, I just started to feel like that. You know what I mean? And that only happened <laughs> like twice. When by I the way, because he, yeah. you got them up so much, and like, I'm not gonna say your last joke, but like, your last joke is like that rhythm. It takes time, and you wait for that last line, and you just kill him, Zach and Miko. It was so you gotta just ride man. that wave and have fun, bro. It's when do you see that on the road? <laughs> that, that joke's 20 minutes long. Really? Really? When I do my headlining set, yeah. That Damn. joke takes about 15 to 20 minutes. I want to come on a road date with you, Zach. I'm gonna come <laughs> it's I, I want to see wild it. It's wild to Zach, watch me do a callback to 20 yeah. minutes before. Oh I'll, try, I'll show you it on Saratoga. With I'm going to try and yeah. I'm going to see yes. how many people I can bring. Yeah. And a fucking Lulu. Let's get into, let's get into the questions of the show. This no, is my, know, well, this is going to be interesting. This yeah. is my favorite part of the show. This is the Munchies moment presented by Fuck It Around 2. Um, that's my own show. It's, I sponsored my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, are you doing music or you don't want to uh, we'll edit the music into it Zach just uh, answer quickly then we just one or the other we're gonna go through sour candy or chocolate sour grilled cheese or cheese quesadilla quesadilla mmm high seafood punch or kool-aid high sea chicken sandwich or burger burger nice chicken wings or burger burger nice best fast food restaurant Arby's whoa okay you wow. gotta be the first guy a hot take. in my whole life to ever like say. <laughs> oh, where are you from, Zach? Like a saggy mass of sack of shit. Uh, Jersey. Jersey. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we don't what? got them where I'm from. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like Behind a, that, uh, Zach. Jack in the Box. Who, Jack in the Box? You eat wow. Arby's? Only in Cali, Jack in the Box for me. What would you order at Arby's? What is the Arby's order? Yeah, what's the Arby's order? Uh, beef and cheddar with horsey sauce. That's their horseradish. Okay. Horsey sauce? <laughs> horsey sauce. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> um... Best mozzarella sticks in the fast food game, and best curly fries. Can I tell you, comics have the worst diet. This yeah. question is starting to blow my mind. Comics Hannah was on the podcast comics last week. Hannah, she Hannah said Long John Silver. Long John Silver, son. Yeah. Long, to our bet, this is the best. But you know what, though? It makes sense if you're... You, you go on the road to the middle of the country. Yeah. Talking to the south. mic. You can't fuck up a roast beef sandwich. Yes, you can. I've had it. It's the blandest sandwich in the world, Zach. No, man. Not with, Arby, not with horsey sauce, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And then, have you ever seen Meat Mountain? No, nah. no, don't. Zach. Okay, so Meat Mountain. Hannah did the same thing. She was like, "There was a fish island or something yeah. on." Matt, just Google Arby's Meat Mountain. I don't. So Arby's for a meat while did Mountain. this thing where they have like eight different kinds of meat you can get on your sandwich. Now you yeah. have to eat this and next as time. And as a eight, as a bit, they did a commercial where it was everything stacked, and it was a joke. But then somebody ordered it, and they started making it for ten dollars. 
It was. You have it. Please tell me you've had it too. Yeah, I. <laughs> you've had it I, multiple times. I went and got it one time, and the lady, the I, I ordered dude. it. I was like, "Hey, do you guys have?" Because it wasn't on the menu. You whispered it, and you're like, "Hey, do you have?" It's like a drug that's deal. Something, that's something you gotta. <laughs> that's whisper. how crazy this order is. Yeah. You gotta like, whisper it, dude. It's like a drug deal. I was like, "Do you have any?" <laughs> and then just this fat white lady comes out from the back. Did you hear about that on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah," and she goes, "We don't have a box big enough." Wow. To put it in. So you got to eat that in. And they went, but we could like stack two boxes. Is that okay? And tape them together. Is and it like, as wow, tall as it looks? Dude. Yeah. Well, no, not when it's like. How, wait, wait. How are you eating it? If you just smush it. <laughs> and then, and then the juices I remember out. the first time I got it, they went, will you eat it here so we can see? <laughs> what the fuck? Zach, but will you Zach, bring up whatever was on it? They, it was so fucking good, dude. They never Wait, sold a single one of those sandwiches. Did you till stay there did. so they could watch you eat? No, I took it back and I had it with a fucking bottle okay, of Jim was... Beam in my underpants, <laughs> the way God intended me to shame people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, also, could you look up what was on it? Because it was for a while they were doing like all sorts of shit there, yeah. and it was so fucking. Speaking good. of drinking habits. You motherfucker gave me a, a fucking Jaeger shot when we were drinking in Brooklyn, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Wow, Jaeger's actually delicious." I hate this Jaeger. fucking idiot put down a whole bottle of Jaeger. Yeah, the Phillies game like shit, blacked huh? out. Dude, dude, is that what you drink? Oh, I was in the clinic at the that. Phillies game, Zach. Yep, that's, that's why you it. felt like shit the next day, why, bro. It, why would you give that to me? Okay, wait, real quick. The Meat Mountain was chicken tenders oh my at God. the bottom. <laughs> Roast turkey. Excuse me. Where'd it go? Chicken Where'd tenders, ham, roast turkey, Swiss ham, cheese. Swiss cheese, uh, brisket, corned beef, Angus steak, cheddar cheese, and bacon. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I want this right now. It ruled. I want this right now. They retired now. that I'm sandwich, ruled. right? I'm actually hungry. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm hungry for it right but, now. But, uh, okay, Jaeger's great, but here's my... I actually just did dry January. Yes. Oh, no. so I want to talk about that. So I haven't had a drink uh, since New Year's Eve, but... Nice. We'll see how it goes. You still going? I don't know yet. We'll see no, how it no, goes. We heard, it's uh, day by day. I got an information from an, uh, an unknown source before the podcast that you and Fago were both doing dry, dry uh, January. Yeah. Someone was with Fago right before midnight, and we have an inside source. That wasn't source. real. That wasn't. I, I was. I was being facetious, but it seemed that. Can I tell the joke? Because it was mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, big killer Nat. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell my joke the way. Don't know, Natalie. You know what? You know what? I stole Natalie DeChico's joke. <laughs> hey, Nat, can you tell it so we know what it sounds like funny? <laughs> <laughs> That's very generous of you. Natalie, um, tell the fucking joke. Zach did dry January, and now it's February 2nd, and you're going, I don't know. I don't need to drink right now. I might, I might keep it going. And Chris probably counted down at midnight just, just, just to switch over. <laughs> you guys were with him yesterday, were you not? I was going to make it like Blind Mike found it. Like, he was drinking that night. No, I, saw, no, I saw him. I was like, oh, Chris is back. Uh yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm probably drink this weekend, but I'm I'm going pretty Slow. much very Wait. little. Hold on. You don't watch the, are you gonna watch the Super Bowl? Oh no, that's not this weekend. I don't care about that. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So uh, hey, I'll tell you what really fucking because I did it uh, a few about about a year ago, I did seventy days sober. It's those fucking carbonated liquid deaths are a mm. godsend. Oh mm. my because they're carbonated like beer, not like they're seltzer. Great. They're great. What? Yeah, dude. They're they great. I never the, had a liquid death. The, are you fucking the, the black can they're carbonated like beer. They're the best. On your second or third one, you just forget. Like you're, you're like, oh, I'm drinking beers with the guys. Whoa, dude! They, they, the way, I don't want to explain it. The like, like yeah. the sip is dude, like. I one really... year I watched Royal Rumble with those, and I went, "Did I drink eight eight bottles <laughs> of water today? I'm the healthiest motherfucker alive." So we're gonna we're speaking gonna, of Royal speaking Rumble. Of, speaking of drink, yeah. sorry, sorry. Best drink to pair with your weed. With weed, weed. I eat something sweet probably. Always, I go sweet tea. McDonald's sweet tea is my preferred favorite. Mm -hmm. All me, right. I'm going to say some real fast shit. Go ahead. Honestly, it's, it's uh, black and white milkshake for me. What? You're a yeah. milkshake with a joint? Yeah, with a joint. You're a crazy. smoothie with a joint. Is but, wait, wait, but, more like a, yeah. but more drinkable, not thick, not a thick drinkable. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going the best soda of all time. Dr. Fago. Browns? Fago? Whoa, 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 whoa. Fago. Uh, and then uh, it's the um, there's a specific flavor uh, that uh, is escaping my mind. Look at no. Fago flavors. Uh, it is it's uh, what color is it? Fuck, it is cream soda with a little bit of cherry. Cherry cream. That's why I like the Dr. Browns. Like it's like that. Uh, they have cream. Cherry cream soda. Rock and rye. Fago rock and rye. Rock and is that whiskey. 
No, no, no. Oh, it's just, it was a whiskey mixer. Okay. When it was designed. Okay. But yeah, that's the best one. Zach is the best because he gets like exotic snacks and drinks from like online sent to him. Like I the sent, smoke sent shop to, shit? You send them to yourself all the fucking oh, time. Oh no, I get fans to send them now. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's a great Someone line, like dude. the hundred dollar bag of chips and shit. Like the, the I, I I'll fuck with that sometimes. That's good. You like Are ketchup they fire chips? Like that? What? You like ketchup chips? No. I like them. I love no, them. No, uh, actually today, uh Paco Bodzia, the ones that me and Lewis were talking about, the um the Korean Doritos that were fire. Oh awesome. honey, honey. Also, chili. what a fucking simp. Honey chili sounds fire, and uh, outside of America, they got some fire snacks. I'm not going to lie oh, to you. Oh, 1,000%. As far as chips nope, 1, flavor goes, fire. All right, I'm, I'm excited for this one. Best food from your childhood you still eat now? I'm sure it's a bunch, but what's, like, number one? Number still one. holds up. Like, Dunkaroos, I'm sorry, still holds up. I got a couple that are probably my my fire. And this is a weird one. Black Jelly Bellies. Real what's that? licorice? That's licorice. The, the licorice jelly belly, I think, fucking hold you up. You like hard. licorice flavor? That's yeah, why I do. I like yeah, licorice. You do like licorice. Yeah, Jaeger too. Yeah, Jaeger. That's what I said. You like licorice. Um, and then as a kid, what? As a kid, I mean, I like all the same. I, my favorite thing is meatloaf. Really? <laughs> meatloaf. My mom it, makes meatloaf me- and nachos are my two. Fi- I was like, say that's not candy. Man. My mom makes meatloaf with ketchup. Is that bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed really? to be a great. It's right? delicious, dude. <laughs> meatloaf with mozzarella in the middle. That it's sounds, not like that it. Sounds Zach, when are you cooking, bro? Invite me. Can you cook? This is delicious. I, I barely. Oh damn! I, don't I can do that. a couple things. I don't believe it. Okay. You only or you only order out? No, no. I'll I'll split it with Mrs. Amika. We'll we'll we'll. You guys we'll go half half shit. on the work. Yeah, 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 nice. yeah. We help each other, but uh, Best there's to- nothing like uh. I used to go to a place when I was a kid called the Yankee Tower, and it was a diner in Jersey, and it was a truck stop <laughs> diner. That's where Kumia records. And uh, <laughs> they had. This banging meatloaf, and the day the diner closed, they put the recipe in the newspaper. <laughs> well, that's, damn yeah, I typed in Yankee kind of Tower, and it fun. filled in Yankee Tower meatloaf recipe. No way. You, is it, you have a picture of the And article? it was the grossest restaurant. I no mean, way. <laughs> I remember being a little, I mean, I would be like seven <laughs> sitting at the counter, and it was all these nasty truck stop waitresses, and I guess she got in a fight with some dude. There's your... And I'm seven years old sitting at the counter. The waitress walks over and goes, you believe that fucking asshole? <laughs> <laughs> You're seven. And I'm just like a little kid sitting at the counter with my <laughs> dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, Favorite cereal? Oh, fuck. Uh, Oops All Berries. You're, you're straight to all berries? Yeah, Oops All Berries. Um, Reese's Puffs. So good. Fuck. And then, I mean, if I had to pick a cereal. Cookie Five Crisp? Cereals. Not uh, overrated. Yeah. Over, Cookie yeah, Crisp yeah. is overrated. Do you remember when it used to be different? Waffle Crisp. Kind of fire. We're pretty goddamn uh, good. Remember, also, uh, Berry Captain Crunch? Okay. Berry Captain Crunch. No, Berry Captain Crunch. Okay. Oh, Berry Captain Crunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, he said, oops, all berries. So. Yeah. All ba- okay. No, oops, all berries. berries. If we're, we're going to do berries, we're going oops. I like I'm trying to think if there's anything that really sticks out as like the shit. You know what's really good? Peanut butter um, Captain Crunch. Yeah. Hits. I think I yeah. that one. Also yeah. hits. You have a favorite cereal? Yeah, I, apparently I'm a psychopath because I like Oreo cereal. There's nothing wrong with that. that. Yeah, fire. people tell it's me that. It's expensive. It's like seven dollars a box. Well, and I was about to say the they, price... they discontinued it for like five years in New York. Yeah, at least. and I was like fiending for it for years, and I saw it. I was feeding the stores, <laughs> dog. I bought like ten of them. I was eating them all day. That's I gained wild. fifty pounds. It's it was wild, bro. Yeah, oh, the price of cereal is insane. Does anybody feel like that? Or like... everything is insane, bro. It was like nah, ten but bucks like even like five years ago, I'm like, is that cereal? Oh, when I was a kid, was cereal a box of cereal seven dollars, six dollars? I only buy it on sale. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you're right. You, you know what I saw the other day? That f- the price fucked me up. I went to order McDonald's breakfast. McDonald's breakfast is my fucking favorite. Yeah. Fucking, mm-hmm. Wendy's is a close competitor. I had Wendy's, Wendy's the other Wendy's. day, and I got the, fr- the bacon. The, the I had a frosty chino and a um, bacon and a morning baconator. Bacon and good. I was eating the potato. I had a frosty chino. I hope you know. I thought it was like, yeah. cheers, Zach. It was very good. Are. Wherever you are, buddy. But uh, a hash brown at McDonald's is three dollars now. That's no, crazy. Used to be fifty cent. No, they used to be two for a dollar. No, they're not. That's fucking. Hey, crazy. Yo, hey, yo, you said, By the way, not when three. we were kids. You yeah, said, I'm talking when I was in college. Fried potatoes yeah, are three dollars. When I was in college, yes. hash browns were two for a dollar. Yes, they were. One hundred percent. Now they're three bucks. Apple Illegal. pies were fifty. Cent. You know what you need? Do you have yeah. the app? Yeah. The app might give you the deal. No, the app. For some reason, the app doesn't uh, work for in my neighborhood. <laughs> Because I'm far out. No, specific McDonald's can elect not to do it. I learned because I went to one and it was, it was like, no, this uh, McDonald's does not participate. Makes sense. The people around you are pieces of shit. They're not yeah. participating makes in. Sense. Well, I mean, I live in a very deeply you're deep, you're deep ethnic part of Brooklyn. Like, I no, I mean, I live <laughs> straight up in like Belarus, 
Like I'm in oh, fucking. Oh, the Russians and shit. Well, if they're there, then you get to me, and it's straight Arab. Mm. Like at, it's door Brooklyn? signs. Uh, yeah, I live in Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge. Okay. Oh. Speaking, oh. speaking of Arab, I forgot my favorite question on this. Go ahead. You walk into a bodega and you have five seconds to order. What do you say? Bacon egg and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we have some. We've had some fun. We, ones. we have some fuck clothes. Yeah. yeah. What's Turkey, your, you, you have a go-to video. bodega order that's not bacon egg and cheese? I, I, I might include that. You can't say bacon egg and cheese. Can't say bacon egg and can't cheese. Can't say bacon egg cheese. Ooh. Ooh. All right, fine. Chopped cheese and a hero. Chopped cheese. Can't say chopped cheese. No, no, can't say that. I now mean, what do you say? Now you're fucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm flying darn ball. Turkey lettuce, tomato, mayo, uh, no cheese, olive oil, and vinegar. Salt solid. And pepper. It's a solid turkey sandwich. That's pretty, that's on the thirty seconds, right? Dude, Jamaican beef patty with some cheese, slice of cheese on it. Yeah, that's that's probably in there. Fire. Fire. Um. Yeah, I'm going easy. I'm going turkey or roast beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato. Is mayo. there an Arby's near you? No. Okay. That's why it's special. You do it on the road. It's special. Mm. That's insane. Okay, let's get into let's get into some of the drug questions. Remember, answer at your leisure. Yeah, you don't have to answer as you want. First one, drug of choice. Better answer every question, Zach. Answer. <laughs> drug of choice. <laughs> oh, weed. Devil's drug of choice. What's that mean? Like what's like like drug of choice is weed. What's the devil's drug of choice? The shit that make you do like make, demon time. Make, yeah. It make, oh. make you go demon time. Um, you make fucked up decisions. Your coke. <laughs> okay, well, actually, let me rephrase that. I have, other than a few occasions, behaved much better on coke than when I used to be a pain pill addict. Really? I didn't know you did pills. I was a pill addict in my early 20s. What was your pill? Oh, because well, the what was the accident. No, 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 no. Well, yes, I broke what was my leg. Your back? Oh, leg. Sorry, I, I, yeah, have, I, to, I have to rephrase this question. I was going to ask what's your... Uh, perks and then Oxycontin. But what oh, was wow. your what was your so perks and Oxycontin? But did you do a concoction of pills? Like, okay, I got to do this. No, it was always that. pills and booze. It's it was booze pills and, and booze. booze. Yeah. Fucking so yeah. So we <laughs> would uh, we would so I hooked up with a daughter of a dentist for a while, Lit. and nice. she got bags of pain pills, and we would put them out and crush them with like a glass paperweight and do line shot of Jack, line shot of Jack. And that's a bad decision making person. Yes. Because wow. you don't feel. By the, <laughs> by the way, I, I don't know if you know this, and I want to make, I don't know if she, that was an early relationship. Daughter of a dentist. You apparently, if you like suck dick, you get like a. Uh, the thing in the back of your thing mouth. On yeah. The back, a little mark on the back of your throat. Like, yeah, uh, dentists can tell if you suck somebody's dick the night dentists before. Dentists can tell this if you suck dick. Yeah, it's in your soft palate yep. in the back of your mouth. You, they can see the head of the yep. dick. They can see the head of the dick. You're lying. Yep. Please Yo. tell me this is true. It's true. Yo. Yo. If Zach you and Miko said it, you know it's true. Internet, yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm telling you, her, her going in for a checkup one day, being like, mm -hmm. fuck, my daughter's not pure anymore. I have a story, but I don't want it to sound like a hero story. What? You are you a fucking... You met a throat goat you that are had a fucking imprint <laughs> in her fucking shit? Zach, okay, you so are a fucking this hero. This girl was a champ. A she sucked dick like a champ. There was a girl that was a champ, so... She loving it. I have my dick pierced. Okay. And I've gotten it stretched. Day? Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's been stretched a few Every times. Every time you say it hurts me. What does that mean? Uh, I got a big ring in my dick. Okay, a hoop? A uh, captive bead ring. So it's a hoop with one ball okay. in the middle. Okay. So, so it goes like that with the ball in the middle. I love these. Okay. But I, I have, yeah, a, two, I have so a two funny. gauge Prince Albert. A two gauge? <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> oh and That's... when I was a single man, I, <laughs> uh, I used to hook up with this. Uh, art student check. Yeah, that's a two gauge. Just for reference, bro. Oh my god, that's like the shit people put in their nose. That shit is. Yeah. Thick. Oh, if my that... dick ring was in my nose, you would have trouble talking to me, bro. Like you, it would that's be a... gross. You say that's really funny. That's yeah, right. it would be gross. But nose. you lost like a piece you... of your dick, kinda. No, no, you stretch. I gained that's so it. funny. You I can't... love talking to Zach. I hate talking to his dick. Yeah, dude. yeah. <laughs> and uh, a lovely young lady and I, we never dated. But we would always just get drunk and fuck in other people's houses. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Because we were just animals. I hate and it. she's the sweetest chick. I'm friends with her to this day. But we just went through a phase where we would get drunk and fuck. Fun. And she called me one day. And she was like, hey, I just want to thank you uh, for the painkillers I got. I went, why? <laughs> I dislocated my jaw. Hooking up with you last night. Oh, oh you got a big and dick. She, no, 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 no. Oh, it was oh, the ring. Oh, 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 I do not have a big dick. Oh, I'm, whoa, I sound but, like <laughs> she's her jaw I like, dislocated. I like, hold on, I like DC. Yo, you yeah. got a big oh. dick. She uh, threw her jaw out of alignment, so she couldn't bite down the next day when she woke up. 
and she went to the dentist. You know, she goes and they uh, they fix her. You know, they they fix her and they give her painkillers. And then the doctor leaves, and a nurse comes in, and she goes, "All right, this is between me and you, honey. <laughs> Were you performing oral sex last night?" And she goes, what? "Yeah." And she goes, "You got to calm down. <laughs> like whatever <laughs> you're doing, you got to take it back a few steps." Whoa. Do you do you think you just? By the way, you got to write this porno. You got to sell to a porno <laughs> industry. Because right there, she could be like, "Honey, where's your boyfriend? Bring him in. Yeah. You got to do it like <laughs> this, and you got to do it." like She was this. just she was in it to win it. That's you know, crazy. What, what did so she good. say to them? By the way, that nurse looked. She at, laughed. I mean, she called me. I mean, she called me from yeah. the fucking subway. It's so wow. That it's it can be embarrassing. I told you. I always tell you guys about the time. I don't always, but like I, I tore my fucking frenellum. The fucking, because I'm not circumcised, unfortunately, so my dick could tear. So, and just the fuck, when the people come in there and you have to explain what to happen to each doctor like four times, bro, <laughs> it's so embarrassing and like shameful. So I'm, I'm just thinking about how she felt. That shit had to feel so the nurse weird, just walked. The nurse just walked in, looked, like, looked at your girlfriend and was just like, I'm simply just better than y'all niggas. I'm simply just more known than you niggas. <laughs> Stupid, <bro. laughs> right, that girl see. that did it had to take you to the hospital, but anyway. <laughs> Get off my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Zach awesome. dislocated a bitch's jaw. So oh. she dislocated her own jaw. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta calm you down. Give, you, give, you give props to the artist of him. Right? Yeah, you, you do. You got a wide dick, bro. Be proud of that. You got a wide... <laughs> okay, speaking of Zach and Miko's dick, I don't know if I've told you this. You know, the first time I saw uh, um, uh, Naked Roast was in uh, Houston. Okay. And you played one oh, of the songs, Some Jackass, this. during yeah. that, and... That's when I knew I was like I, I already loved the entire show. You played it at the end where you do your segment. Yeah, yeah. You play the fucking song. I hear I'm on G Mike sees me. He's like, We're taking all we plan to take all the mushrooms in the world, Molly, everything. Just anything around us and just go watch Naked Rose. So we're sitting on the sidelines, having I'm having the most fun of my life. Zach goes, Dylan, get over here. And I'm just having fun. <laughs> I hear my name, I'm like, oh Dylan. And then I hear, Dylan! And Zach's naked on the front of the stage, screaming my name. And I just run over there. I'm like in a high panic. And I'm by the stage like, what What happened? What do I need to do? And they've already said what you what, They wanted me to grab the mic to put it by his dick because he's about to mousetrap his dick. Oh Rat trap. God. Rat trap. Thank you for that With fucking clarification. Big difference. It? Thank it's you for that. No, no, no. Oh mousetrap. Yeah. Mousetrap this. Yeah. Rat trap. Rat is... trap. You, yeah, it's you the, snapped it, looks like a it brick. in a baseball stadium. You'd hear it yeah, in the it fucking like bleed, in the, in the Fuck, nosebleeds. Bro. When you snap it and you hear the echo in the room, Zach. What a I'm fuck. Dedica- I'm a dedicated performer. Showman. <laughs> yeah, you are. Bro. So Zach is screaming, Dylan, get over here. And I don't know why. So it's a lot there. better when you hold the mic to it. It's, it so, gives it. <laughs> so I get over there. Bless fucking Chris Fago. I'm over there like, what, what, what? I look at Fago and goes, grab the mic, stupid. And I go, oh, the mic. I grab the mic and I just put it to your dick. Now, again, I don't even, I'm like so high. I like, don't even know what's going on. But Zach. No, no, you're looking at his dick. That's finally, I get to have a second to process like where I am, what's happening, what you're about to do. I'm holding the mic high as balls. Dude, I was just staring into your pee hole <laughs> <laughs> on so much drugs. Wow. And your pee hole starts to just like. <laughs> boom, boom. Wow. And Zach, to this day, I could I could paint a picture of your dick, dude. Like I could look right here and just start fucking drawing, dude. Like I could tell I like, your your like, your tip goes a little longer. Like I, I, I could see your fucking yeah, your, your, bro, big, your, your hole bro. was just talking. This to guy me. almost and, drew a penis without looking at the paper. <laughs> look at bro, that. I, this guy just started to that's how you do he drew dicks in high school. Cool, bro. bro, and I just remember looking in, and I was like, "You're staring at Zach and Miko's pee hole right now." <laughs> and as I thought that, I was like, "You're high as b-. snap!" I was like, "Ah!" There was the craziest thing. You know, after life. that room cleared out, that was the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> after that room cleared out, I was sitting backstage for a while, <laughs> and it was the last night. And one of the, I might have been G Mike, one of the uh, producers interns. Found an Altoids container on the floor and he yep. opens it up and it's full of gummies. Yep. And like, oh, I think these are weed gummies. And I was like, ah, oh, we found them on the floor. I don't want to. And then he goes, well, there's one orange pill in here. And he picks it up and I look at it. I'm 10 feet away and I go, oh, that's speed from the 90s. <laughs> and he goes, what? I went, that's Dexedrin. And How he goes, f- oh, shit. And he fucking, no. I go, put it on Pill Finder because it's got the did numbers in the letter. Yeah. I did Dexedrin this morning. And, uh, <laughs> I swear to God, I did Dexedrin what? this morning. But it was the old school ones that were super powerful. Is it shaped like a fucking octagon? No, it, Not was, an octagon, it was orange. Like, orange? Yeah, it, it was, was or- orange and long. It was a long pill. I was like, why is this pill so fucking long, Eric? Sorry. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, that shit. I'm going to put, I'm gonna put it on Pill Finder. Put it on Pill Finder. Yeah, pill yeah. Finder. And they went, wow, Zach knows what Dexedrin looks like. And I went, know what it tastes like, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, wait. Fuck, I had a dude. question, bro. That's will so you, will funny. You That's you so fucking funny. You a rat trap on your penis. On your penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, like, numb to it at this point? No. no what, bro, <laughs> it hurts. You got to know where to catch it. <laughs> on yeah. the head or behind no, it? No, no, exactly. you want to catch base. the shaft. On the base. You want to catch it close close to the end of the shaft as possible. Do you, okay. okay, so quick question. Are you taking it up a notch? No. Uh-oh. Do you do it hard or do you do it soft? I'm not getting hard in front of all those You're not jerking oh. off beforehand. True, yeah. So take it up a notch, Zach. Would you let a rat trap snap on your nuts? No. No, no I can't do that. You can't do that. No, no, no. no. Wait, that, somebody explode. Explode. wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know this. Know what Zach's also finishing move is? He goes, this is, this is how this man gets tipped for the amazing show no pun intended. that you just, that's hilarious, yeah. that you that he just put on. Zach goes, pulls out a real, like, a fucking Home Depot, like, I'm working in a fucking construction site yeah. stapler. And goes, anyone with, like, a, a, with any money, cash money, that wants to come staple money to me right now. 20 or more. Oh, 20 or more, man, right? <laughs> yeah, comes, big bills, now I say big bills only because motherfuckers walk up to yeah. me with a dollar. Yeah, fuck out of here. You. No, I, I was <laughs> no. a, yeah. So he comes and he goes, anyone can come and staple money. And dude, and he goes, if for 100, you can staple my forehead. Jesus, bro. You can staple, and they staple the money to him. So Zach comes to the at the end of the show, is just bleeding from all, and is coming down with his tips. <laughs> There's $100 stapled to his forehead. Watching him Pluck that thing out of his forehead. Yeah, I see? fucked up this year and got carpet staples. <laughs> what, bro? That's so why they were about twice as long so as they should have been. That's why. Yo, that's why I was so fucked up. Can this I ask year. you a question though? What was the count up at the end of the night <laughs> when you fucking? It was good. It was yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to. Wanna... Hey, 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 Nat, turn my mic off. Woo! That's a good wow. night. Okay. That's a good night. Okay. That's a good night. I mean, yeah. fuck, dude. That's my guy. All right, I yeah. want to ask this, and I know you have a, probably a ton of answers, but what's like your favorite show right now to watch, I? Or even Pat in the back, in the past? Oh. We're um, going to watch in the bonus, in the Patreon episode. Oh, we're going to watch it? We're going to watch it. So give us, put us oh, on. Re- oh, it's a cartoon called Rejected by Don Hertzfeld. It's th- this tattoo right here. Okay. Uh, it's it's uh, rejected. Yes. I mean, my favorite thing is The Simpsons. You know, that's but the first I'll pick something I... short for Patreon, which is rejected by. That's uh, the Don first Hurtel. thing. That's the first thing I noticed about you when I first met you, and I think I told you like early on. I was like, that, that I was love the first that cartoon. Thing, yeah. okay. No, it was like I love that cartoon. I used to play that cartoon in my art class or my teacher, mm-hmm. and be like, that's the rejected? shit I want to do. Wait until you see this. Cartoon. Rejected by Don Hertzfeld. Uh, Yo, so I, I got a question for you because I, when I first met you, bro, I met you out here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the lobby of guys where and, I hang out pretty much, and where you do where, eight, where you wait to do eight podcasts yeah. a day, a day. Yeah. I and, texted Zach by the way this morning. I was like, dude, I forgot to confirm yesterday. I'm so fucking sorry. Know, hey, you're gonna be here, and he goes, Dylan, I'm at the studio now, like <laughs> recording, like, buddy, I'll be here. So <laughs> when I met. Uh, I don't even know how we started talking about your pops. Yeah, like, yeah. Me and you started just bonding, like just stories about your dad. Yeah, yeah. And I already, I, I see this question here, and I wanted to ask you, but I kind of know the answer. But I'm just going to ask, because I'm probably going to get a good story out of it. Who do you like doing drugs in front of more? Your mom or your pops? I would never do drugs in front of my dad. My dad's 35 years sober. Really? Oh, shit. Yes, oh, okay. I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, I would never. I would never. I've gotten drunk with my mom a couple times, and it's Pretty great. <laughs> I got, wait, wait, why is it great? Why is it great? Because <laughs> I went through her phone. What? <laughs> yeah, what happened? What'd you find? Oh, I was talking to dudes. <laughs> trying to find somebody to come and fuck my mom. No. <laughs> Me and my mom. So there's certain kinds of drunk that are unbeatable. <laughs> and one of my favorite kinds of drunk is hotel lobby drunk. Oh, yeah. The oh, bar in I've a hotel. And not like I know what you mean. In it's a, a city. scary drunk. Anything can happen in a hotel not lobby. Not in a city. Mm-hmm. I mean drunk at the bar. In Kentucky. In a fucking Radisson. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just a shit hotel yeah. that has a little bar. And there's people there that are regulars. That's <laughs> terrifying. And I did a show. I opened for... Fuck, I always forget his fucking name. He's he's an old, old guy. He was Chi Chi in Scarface. Oh, I remember Look Chi-Chi. Up Chi-Chi in Scarface. Chi-Chi get the Yale. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Uh, fuck he's a Yale. comic, and I he's... opened for him in a I hotel no in Jersey. Uh, Angel what, Salazar. What happened in this lobby? And What my happened mom, in this lobby? Uh, me and my mom get annihilated, <laughs> and I go on her Plenty of Fish app. 
That's what she had. Was on Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. This was recently. Plenty of fish. No, no, no. Not like seven years ago, ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Plenty okay. of fish is like. Oh, that's that's yeah. when I first. That's when POF first got came you, out. Got you, got you, got okay. you. Yeah, I was talking to a lot of white women. On POF. Stop saying POF. No offense to y'all. Plenty of fish. Yeah. Keep going. Y'all saying POF are you years old? Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is before your time, my, my friend. Bad, bro. Yeah, my and bad, bro. Uh, yeah, I was just talking to dudes on it, and it was so fucking funny. Yo, and, and it was just like my mom got hammered, and we just had a blast, dude. And he, wait, your mom? Did you you know your mom hooked up? Oh yeah, yeah, she was hilarious. Dude. No, no, no. We just went <laughs> hanging out all night and getting drunk. It was so much fun. Wait, will you be? And this, this is my my parents got divorced. I don't think I would try to get my mom hooked up. That's to... your problem, bro. You don't want to get your mom I don't want no... good dick. Huh? Nah, I would get her a good dude. Not, not some good not dick. Not a good dick. Yeah, <laughs> not some I get her dick. Good dick <laughs> yo, I, I thought about this for a long time because my mom was an angry person for so long. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Mommy, you there's two things that I thought she had a problem with. I thought she was too sober. Right? Mm-hmm. She's one of these people that should have drank a little more, should have done a little bit more drugs. And then the other thing was she wasn't getting enough dick. Yeah, you know, and yeah. like, like she was, she was going through menopause, cold turkey with no mm-hmm. dick, and I was like, "Bitch, we can't no, handle you, all Your mom doesn't do drugs. No dick. No no drugs. drugs yeah. No no, no wonder she's drinking. mad at you, bro. Bro, yeah. so and that's why she'll somewhere. beat the shit out of me with baseball. Bats. Makes sense. I I get it. I I grew did, we're single parent house. Single parent house. Same. Yeah. So I grew up with my so my dad uh, moved out when I was like twelve, thirteen. So I lived just with my mom in the apartment that we lived in. With no doors, <laughs> Wait. like to enter. The house, I remember the you saying house? this. So there's a door to enter this. the front of the house. You go upstairs, yep. the door into the apartment. That was it. It was an open floor. Plan. Many people don't know this, and if you look at anything, so that my he does, room went into the living room. Uh-huh. The living room bled into the kitchen, <laughs> dining room, and then my mom's bedroom, like a railroad apartment almost. Kinda, but wa- a little wider than that. Yeah, but there was no demarcation. There was no doors. Yeah. So I had no house. privacy till I was eighteen. Yeah. A lot of people don't what know that Zach's from a straight and house, your mom, dude. Bro. Your mom didn't want See, the doors. Like she, it, it was so. It was actually my grandparents. It was my dad's parents' house. So before that, because I just talked to my dad about this. Uh, so I had my room. Then that was the living room. Then a kitchen. Oh, excuse me, a dining room, and the dining room bled into the kitchen. Then there was two little stairs, and then there was two rooms. We called it the back room. That was where there was like a fold-out couch, the computer, shit like that. Yeah. And then my parents' bedroom. My dad lived there before me. My grandpa put those back two rooms on when my dad was a kid. Mm. So my dad lived with his four brothers in my room. Shout out to wow. That was too small for one person. Damn, you can't complain for shit. So I can't bitch can't about say it. anything. My dude. dad, oh excuse me, three brothers because he's the fourth of five. My dad, three brothers. My grandma and grandpa slept on the fold out in the living room, and my grandpa's sister lived there too. You no, know, it's funny. I have a. It was like here. straight up oh like my God, that's tenement like, building. I have shit. biggest boner killer when high. I think yours is when your dad has to sleep in your room. Oh, no, my mom slept outside of my room my entire teenage because she wouldn't sleep in my so parents' fuck. bed anymore when my dad left. Did you smoke weed as a teen? I no. didn't start smoking weed until I was like 19. Okay. And uh, so my mom was like, I'm not sleeping in that bedroom anymore that your father and I shared. So she started sleeping on the couch outside of my room. Dude, I mean, yo, how you, how you sink a, a, a jerk off sash? It was tough. It was like, it was like whenever she was out of the house. Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah no was, wonder you're the king of timing. Yeah. It was tough. It was <laughs> tough. Oh my god, <laughs> Zach and Nico's legendary <laughs> timing yeah. is because he had no doors and he had a jerk. Zach, Did you have you didn't have doors in the bathroom either? There was yeah, but that was uh, when it's just you and your mom. Yeah, yeah. And you go to the bathroom and you're 14. And it's, it, a it's, clock goes off in her yep, head, yeah, yep. and minutes. she's like, "How yeah. long is this going to be?" Yeah, yeah. Like, Literally, I got to start banging on this door yeah. in T minus. <laughs> Why are all my panties missing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but there my, was my, more baby oil in this bottle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, um, we had an hour. I want to ask you this: um, What's one of your best trips, and what what drug was it? Oh, um, I. Took mushrooms and watched Nightmare on Elm Street five, four. then four. Okay, why that? Why that? Like why that direction? I don't know. That's what my body was telling me. <laughs> Yo, I love when you just not, listen not to your, your mind. Your body was yeah. like, <laughs> so here's my advice for tripping. 
And I, I, I've Ooh. tripped enough, but this is very good advice. Clip this. Uh, if you're going to trip, and especially if you're new to it, mm-hmm. uh, you want what I would call the safety net. Okay. Mine is I know the first nine, se- si- uh, nine uh, years of The Simpsons. Hell yeah. The <clears throat> nine seasons of The Simpsons. I probably know them verbatim. Season eight's mm-hmm. the best. I, I just, I could quote, I know exactly what's going to happen. Okay. So if I'm tripping, A, I have The Simpsons as a comfort. B, I can tell how fucked up I am mm. by watching The Simpsons and gauging how wrong it is. Mm. Can I gauge how wrong you are? So if something, if the animation starts to go, if the voices start to go, because I have it all memorized. Mm-hmm. You're like, I know this is different. I can then, but then I can... You know, like when you're tripping, you kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm all right. Yeah, you get out the high. All you got to do is focus on the TV, make the sound normal again, find the consistent, oh, and you're back to where you got to be. Fucking, that's great advice, right I, there. I, I literally wrote down advice. We don't ever ask like if you have any, any, any advice to people tripping. We got to ask that every every show every now. Episode. That's awesome. Zach I did mushrooms goes, twice on Tuesday. I started, <laughs> I started microdosing and I do mushrooms every Sunday so I can cry out all the bullshit I went through that week. <laughs> that's Dude, that's not, white girl shit. So if I'm not posting on Sunday, you know why. On, on Tuesday, I was under a weighted blanket and a comforter listening to Fleetwood Mac <laughs> <laughs> with a fucking projector on the ceiling doing psychedelic I, shit. I have a projector. And also. my wife came home at like five o'clock and she's like, What the fuck are you doing? And I was like, I'm on mushrooms. She goes, During the day? Yeah. I went, yeah, yeah, Lewis canceled the podcast. Day, mu- <laughs> day mushrooms are how you should do are mushrooms. They're amazing. It feels good. No, no, you go also, day blankets, into the night fire. of mushrooms. That's what huh? the best way weighted to do mushrooms. Weighted blankets, fire. Weighted blanket, fire. Also, people put me on my girlfriend got me one for Christmas, and I wanted to hate it. I know, it was at it. your house, and I was like, I wanted Jesus. to hate it. Dude, nah, I'll sneak off. I'll like, I'll, I'll, I, I cuddle under that thing. Yeah. Dude. It makes me single easier. Get a weighted blanket and do mushrooms, people. Other suggestion, if you're going to do mushrooms, Connor root. K A N N A. What? And it is a natural serotonin dump. Mm-hmm. And it comes, you can get it as a powder, you can get it as a, a root, or you can get it as like a tincture, like in what does it do? a liquid. It makes, your, it makes your body produce more serotonin. Which is what you need when I, you're depleted yo, I did of ask, it on tripping yo. on drugs. And you can get it. So I bought it on Etsy. I need this. And uh, I made a THC iced coffee before I tripped and put five. Connor root little drips in it. Mm-hmm. How did it feel? So that I was already in a good mood before I started tripping. Whoa, yeah. that's great fucking I didn't know And then you take it again the what? next day because you blow your serotonin yeah. when you trip yeah. and you do Molly yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. You have to get yourself back. This will get you back going. And no you can make way. a tea. Yeah. You can take it as it's natural. put it in water. Yeah. It's something they chew in the middle. You know how like they found out that's... what cocaine was because people were chewing coca leaves? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the Middle East, people chew conna leaves. I've seen that. I was gonna I've say I learned that. that because Brandon used to go to raves a lot, and this is I never seen anyone do drugs like resp- efficiently in a way like, you know, like he'll have his to stay hydrated. The water pack, he's doing Molly, he's doing coke, he's tripping. No, on white acid. people, white people do drugs very. That's like, what, I, and he was very like, very efficient. And I got this for serotonin because you, you need this the next day. It's a three day festival, and I was like, what the fuck? I thought you just kept doing it's drugs. He was like, we nah. call it, we call our fans what? serotonin psychos, and now we now they know how to keep their serotonin. Yeah, and up you can get it on Etsy. Trip. That's crazy. Also, I need this. off the record, when we're not on the air, I will tell you who to buy it from on Etsy because it said comes Chris with free. Chris Fager figured out how to use Etsy? <laughs> what? That's insane. I bought it. It said comes with free gift. And the guy sent me a bunch of wax. Oh, wow. Nice. Dude, dude, dude. We, if you're a fifty dollars awesome. subscriber, that's awesome. If you become a fifty dollars subscriber on our Patreon, but we got you another will Patreon know, during you this. You will know. Which Etsy person to buy that from? Courtesy of Zach I'm fine Amigo. with that. We'll do on the fifty dollar one. Yeah, on the co- uh, fifty dollar one. We know is the the cocaine uh, tier. We do sh- uh, weed, shrooms, cocaine. Because if you can afford fifty dollars a month, if, if you can afford coke, you can afford to pay us fucking fifty dollars a month. I like it. Yeah, it's a good idea. This I is need doped some up. Serotonin, though. The, the Sunday, Sunday morning smoke, smoke show. show. Stay tuned. Go watch the Patreon episode with Zach Amigo. We're gonna go watch. Um, rejected. 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 Guys, see you next week. Peace.